This is One on One. Truly innovative leaders in the healthcare industry today are looking at partnerships as a way to expand their reach within the communities that they serve. Welcome back to Life and Living, I'm Joanna Gagas. Virtua and the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia are doing exactly that, partnering together to bring critical pediatric services that were previously unavailable right here to the community in South Jersey. I'm here with Stephanie Fendrick, who is the Vice President of Strategic Partnerships and Program Development here at Virtua. Stephanie played an integral role in bringing together the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia with Virtua. Stephanie, why did Virtua see the value in partnering with CHOP? Well, in 2010, Virtua was looking for a partner to help meet the needs for our pediatric hospital-based services. As we thought about the vision for what we wanted to provide for our community, CHOP had a very similar vision for South Jersey and was very interested in working with us to help grow services for the residents and the children in this community. And we now have a pediatric joint venture for sleep services. We have a pediatric imaging center as well as the pediatric sedation unit. We've done a pilot with CHOP around telemedicine and we continue to work with CHOP to look at what types of specialists we need to support the patients here and how we might be able to bring more of those specialists into our community. We have always gone back to the tenet of we want to provide the right level of care at the right place at the right time. I'm here with Dr. Asif Khwaja, who is the Medical Director of Pediatric Imaging with CHOP at Virtua. Now, what is pediatric imaging used for? So pediatric imaging is a subspecialty of radiology, and so that encompasses every type of imaging study that can be formed on children, so x-rays, CAT scans, MRIs. And the reason we have pediatric imaging is that kids are different than adults. They have specific needs and requirements, and the diseases that a child can get are different than the disease that an adult can get. So that's why we have pediatric imaging specialists. You also have child life specialists. I know that they play a very important role in the screening process. Explain what they do. So the child life specialist uh, is somebody who, again, has special training to deal with children. And what they do is help the child feel as comfortable um, as possible when they're getting an imaging study done so that the study can be done in a safe and uh, efficient manner. So they'll use a variety of techniques. Uh, the most important ones are distraction type techniques. So if a kid is having an IV inserted that may be needed for um, a CAT scan or MRI, they'll sit there and read a book with them or show them a game on an iPad or blow bubbles with them. We're standing here in front of a mock MRI machine. Why is it important to have a, a mock MRI machine where a child can go through the process before it's, it's real? Well, MRI is a very long test, sometimes an hour, an hour and a half long. And so that's a long time for a child to sit still. And when you get in there too, it's a very loud test. And what we like to do is take away the unexpected um, parts of the test for the children. So they come in here and they're able to go through the motions and experience what it would be like to have that imaging study done. And so when they get in there in the real scanner, they're not surprised or get scared by any of the things that they experience. I'm here with Dr. Jeffrey Seiden, who is the Associate Medical Director for the CHOP at Virtua Pediatric Emergency Department. You are the physician liaison for CHOP and Virtua. Explain your role and, and what that means. Well, a lot of what I do really has to do with uh, making sure that the two institutions are working together towards their common mission. Uh, and I think mostly that involves providing the most appropriate care for children in the pediatric emergency department, as well as the other pediatric services that we offer in the, in the family's own community so that they don't have to travel outside of their community in order to achieve that level of care. We're bringing the resources of a uh, very large children's hospital to really uh, a local community hospital. So um, things like wait times uh, and, and the speed with which we're able to provide care here is very different than what you can get in a very busy urban emergency department. Why is it important that we have a separate pediatric emergency department than the main emergency department? 
we think it actually contributes to healing an appropriate level of care. So there's not the stresses of the adult emergency department surrounding them. When families come in, they're greeted by a very family-friendly waiting room and a whole host of staff who are specially trained to deal only with children, which I think makes a real big difference. Here we have pediatric emergency medicine physicians. Why is that important? The extra training that's involved in becoming a pediatric emergency medicine physician really involves um, seeing many, many uh, acutely ill or injured children and being able to provide a level of care uh, maybe without the same degree of testing and unnecessary intervention that you might see being provided by those who are not specially trained to deal with children. How has the relationship with CHOP supported the services that you're able to offer? The CHOP at Virtual Partnership provides us with uh, subspecialty support and resources that enable the clinician team to do procedures and treatment right here at Virtual. That way, um, we are able to care for the babies uh, in the community and keep the families uh, right in the community as well. If we are able to provide the baby's care right here uh, at Virtua and in the community, there is less hardship that is imposed on the family. There are other ways that you try to support the families through this emotional time, and, and one of those ways is the Ronald McDonald rooms. What is the purpose of those rooms? The Ronald McDonald room is a place for the families to get away from the intensity of the environment where the baby is, and they are able to have some time for relaxation and refreshment. We find that when they leave and come back to, to the intensive care room, um, they are more refreshed, uh, they are more relaxed, and they're able to relate to their babies in a different way. There are also nesting rooms, which help parents transition out of the hospital setting. Why is that transition process important before they go home? The nesting room is uh, meant to be a, a launching pad, if you will, for babies who are ready to go home. It simulates the home environment for the families, and uh, we find that uh, this experience uh, helps to bolster their confidence in caring for the baby I'm here with Dr. Samir Doshi, who is the medical director in the Pediatric Pavilion in Memorial Hospital in Mount Holly. Now, there's a really innovative model here with the emergency care and the inpatient care. Explain that for us. About a year ago, we opened uh, what we um, call the Pediatric Pavilion, which is a hybrid unit. It's a uh, combined emergency and inpatient unit in which we can care for um, all kids under 18 years of age. How is this shared model actually improving the continuum of care for the patients that you serve? We have the same staff, both physicians, nurses, techs, um, child life, um, that all will take care of you from start to finish. If you come into our emergency side and you need to be admitted and, you and you're transferred over to the inpatient side, it's the same group of docs, nurses, and other staff will be taking care of you, and so they get to know the patients really well. This provides for less medical errors, as well as a, a better relationship between the hospital staff and the patients. Do you find that this is also driving down the cost mm -hmm. of health care? Um, it certainly does. As I said, you know, the, the shared model not only uh, includes uh, the staffing resources, um, but uh, it also uh, is with other resources such as medications and all the supplies that we need. And so, um, you know, in kind of being able to dynamically move, uh, you know, the resources on either side, it definitely costs less overall to, to take care of the pediatric patients here. There are some other innovative partnership applications of, of the partnership with CHOP and Virtua. Telemedicine mm -hmm. is one of them. Tell us about it. Sure. Um, yeah, so actually Virtua is the, um, is the pilot site for uh, the CHOP uh, telemedicine program. And with this telemedicine robot, we actually have access to certain CHOP subspecialists. Um, for example, we have access to uh, CHOP neurology. And so um, without the neurologist having to actually come on site, we can wheel this robot into a patient room and, and through the computer um, we can actually have an interaction between the pediatric neurologist and a family in real time. Um, not only can the families talk um, to the neurologist, but actually the neurologist can see the examination uh, you know, through the robot. They can actually hear heart sounds through a stethoscope. They can see the neurologic exam pupillary responses uh, as well. And so it's actually kind of a, a full consultation um, done remotely.
Families should get the best possible care in their own community. For many of our families, it's a hardship to go into Philadelphia, and so providing some of these services here makes it much easier for them. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato has been provided by the Healthcare Foundation of New Jersey, Investors Bank, Choose New Jersey, NJIT, Health Republic Insurance of New Jersey, the New Jersey Education Association, PSE&G, committed to improving New Jersey's economy and strengthening its communities. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area. One-on-one -on -one with Steve Adubato has been produced in partnership with St. Joseph's Healthcare System.